Hello. Well, um, at the time of the recording, of this recording, it is February 13th, and you will be seeing this video on <clears throat> Friday, February um, 15th. You know, this is a Wednesday. As I've mentioned in uh, prior videos or two, um, you know, I do make these videos in advance and then have them scheduled to uh, uh, be uh, shown on Fridays. So, and uh, for this particular uh, video, uh, I was kind of thinking of certain things, you know, I have some new movies I've, uh, I mentioned earlier getting as well as I've just recently purchased another film, which would be interesting to talk about, which I may do in another uh, uh, video. But then it dawned on me that I, you know, uh, of what day it is, as well as the year and the significance this day has, particularly because I've talked about this uh franchise for a long t for many videos um, I may li link some of those in the top here wherever those icons will show up as well as even the playlist because there's quite a number of uh, videos I've made about the uh, film about the films and the franchise so what am I talking about well obviously if you have seen the title thumbnail, you know it is Friday the 13th, the 2009 reboot. And on this very day, as I'm recording, of course by the time you see it, it's the long past, but as I'm recording, ten years ago today, we have received the f last film of the Friday the 13th franchise thus far. There will be more, you know, I'm sure there will be another film or two or whatever some years now but I've also uh, talked about why that's gonna be difficult like you know lawsuit and stuff but um, yeah I saw this in the theater and um, I actually enjoy this film um, I know many fans of the franchise you know older than me uh, like kind of grew up with it I sort of also kind of grew up with it also Granted, I got into it a bit later than many of the other uh, fa uh, fans of uh, Friday the 13th, uh, the franchise, and, uh, and even other horror franchises like Halloween and Nightmare on Elm Street. But when I got into the franchises of notable horror films, uh, this was my go-to. I always, I always love Friday the 13th. I love Jason Voorhees, Pamela Voorhees, and I think this was a decent reboot. I think it's a very good reboot. Now, is it perfect? No. But then again, no. It, it's rare to have a reboot that is uh, nowadays, since there's so many. Uh, we get bombarded by so many remakes and reboots that it's like sometimes you wonder, was this? this franchise or a film really needed to be remade or rebooted. If it was part of a franchise, maybe people wanted to see a brand new story but was con a continuing of the previous installment or installments that we have seen, you know, depending on how many films of a franchise there are. But I think this was a very decent reboot, particularly when you see, notice and see how many remakes and reboots were around at the time. <clears throat> there was the Halloween remake, which there are many people who don't like the, that film, and particularly the sequel. The sequel is really, really is criticized heavily, a lot more than the remake. I don't hate the remake, um, but yeah, uh, there are certain things about the remake that 
I'm not too happy about. Um, I have the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, which I enjoy. I think is a a really good film. It it's a it respects the source material uh, a lot. Not that Rob Zombie didn't respect the Halloween source material, but you know, um, I don't know. I think uh, those involved with Texas Chainsaw had I don't know the way they went about it was different. Same with this. And also, I mentioned Texas Chainsaw Massacre because the director of uh, this film directed that film, and uh, I think that could also be another reason why. I have similar sentiments that I just gave to Texas Chainsaw Massacre's remake and to this film, because, I don't know, I just, I just... I, don't know, I feel respect was given to it. Um, many might not think so. You know, many criticisms include too much sex and all that. Well, and also, you know, I read something that was like, well, it depends on what version you watched first. You know, if you saw it in theaters, you saw the uh, obviously the theatrical cut, which has strong bloody violence. Some graphic sexual content, language, and drug material. Where in the uh, extended version, or the killer cut as it's shown here and on the DVD and the, uh, the other Blu ray in that series collection, um, again, strong bully violence, some graphic sexual content, and nudity language and drugs anymore. So now they include nudity. And there was nudity, because I, you know, I saw this in theaters. This was the first Friday the 13th film I ever saw on the big screen, because you know, I was like nine when uh, Freddy vs. Jason came out, and the year prior, uh, Jason X came out, so, you know, it's a bit young to see those on the big screen, you know. My mother wouldn't have been all for that, but, you know, I had seen some stuff about uh, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees, yeah, Michael Myers, and other, all that sort of, all those characters and franchises on TV here and there, but, of course, as you know, it's on TV, so all the good stuff is cut out, pretty much, um, though the point of it being violent was there. Anytime there was nudity, they would, you know, do what they could to just, like, to censor it, you know, um, or anything regarding anything sexual. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> there is that, but honestly, many people growing up watching these in the 80s, oh, in the 90s, they like, whoa, they see these movies and they see the violence as well as the nudity that was sort of a big thing you know it was a big thing back then now with the internet and you can look pretty much anywhere you want if that's what you wanted to see like nudity there you go you don't have to you know watch a Friday the 13th film to really uh, to see that it's not um, as a I guess sort of a big deal nowadays, like it used to be. Um, and another thing, um, I love um, how it, you know, it's a reboot, so they take elements of the earlier films, and particularly the first four. Those are the, the first four uh, seems to be, for the most part, the best in the series, as uh, so many fans will um, say, you know, they, they loved, they just love that, that series, or those films in particular. Like, they love the series, but to, to narrow it down as to how many, you know, those four are often grouped together. Um, and for good reason, there's a very good storyline there, and it does have an ending. 
part four was called the final chapter, which of course we all know was not because this is the twelfth film, which means you know, excluding that because but well, now this is the twelfth, but it's not a sequel. What followed was. Uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, there's many sequels in a crossover, and yeah, it's just there's so many films that came after it. You know, Part Nine was also called the Final Friday. Jason goes to hell. The Final Friday. Yeah, well, at the end of that film, they make it clear we have no intention of the series being over. Maybe that was a marketing thing to get people in the seats. Also because, you know, it was New Line, a brand new company owned the franchise. Why would you end it just as you got it? Uh, especially can, since you can't really make money off the first eight that came before it. Um, since that has Friday the 13th in the title and they just got the rights to... Jason Voorhees and Camp Crystal Lake, and we use Mrs. Voorhees, but outside of that, they can't use Friday the 13th, I believe. Maybe it was just Jason Voorhees. And I'm saying all this because, well, with a lawsuit that's happened over the last few years, stuff like that has come out about what is owned and what isn't, so thinking about that now that just kind of confused but yes it has officially been 10 years since we have gotten a Friday the 13th film many writers including the writers of this film who also wrote uh, Freddy vs. Jason have you know uh, talked about ideas or written and submitted scripts or treatments to possibly be made many seem to go into production and get into what's called development hell never makes any real traction many people online have ideas they wanted to see like the, a big popular one was uh, Friday the 13th and uh, Christ it's like it's snowing so I guess like a Christmas uh, film <clears throat> uh, many people might want to see that because to me that would be the only way you could ever make sense of such a thing people go to Camp Crystal Lake or there's a house by the lake that they go to like for Christmas or, like for family and stuff family gatherings so when Christmas people go there to like a cabin or something and or a house, and then Jason shows up because you know they're on they're at Crystal Lake. <coughs> Excuse me, you know he uh, he lives there and he doesn't take too kindly to people being there. So you know one after another, they, uh, people get killed. That'd be interesting to see. Um, Friday the Thirteenth, you know, in the snow. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. I don't. I was e eating something, but I don't know. I guess it doesn't want to stay down. <coughs> but anyway, um, that's just a big popular thing that people, fans heard and wanted to see. Whether it was ever going to happen or not is, you know, a different story. Um. But yeah, uh, you know, Derek Mears, who played Jason Voorhees, who I think did a very good job in the film, was contracted to do a second film. Uh, <coughs> excuse me again, but, you know, nothing has happened there. I, uh, it doesn't look like he will ever come back to the series. And he's doing other things, I believe, so his career is 
still going. It's still prosperous. It's not just pigeonholed to Jason Voorhees. No, I'm sure he gets a... He goes to conventions and gets stuff from that film to sign and franchise and all. I'm sure he's happy about that. And to be part of uh, the franchise. Um, but, you know, it doesn't seem like he may come back. He could, but, you know, at this moment in time, especially with the lawsuit and with how things were done with uh, Friday the 13th, 2017, it just, things never took off for a new one, uh, be it a sequel to the 2009 film or another reboot, um, or some sort of continuation from the series of films way back if they wanted to do that there's been many fan films um, that one can look at uh, online um, some fan films that are to be made this year and come out later this year or even come out next year but yeah it's been 10 years since the last Friday the 13th film came out um, just wanted to mark this occasion, you know, the 10th anniversary of the Friday the 13th reboot. Um, what do you think? Do you enjoy it? Do you like it? Um, particularly during the whole reboot, remake trends of the 2000s and 2010s. Do you think it was a good reboot? Do you think... Um, Another reboot or remake of a franchise was better, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Halloween, or Nightmare on Elm Street. Though um, I, I I didn't really enjoy that film a whole lot. Saw that in theaters also. Um, that was okay. Um, there's something about that film which, if you haven't seen it, um, I won't really talk about here. But basically, there's a certain thing they did to Freddy Krueger that at the very most was sort of hinted at but it was never explicitly either said or super strongly hinted at that you are like oh that's a real reason he <coughs> killing the kids uh, yeah it's there's something in there that it just like no you just, uh, what you did to the character was, yeah. Though Jackie Arlen Haley was great. Not as, uh, not as great as Robert England, but he, you know, he, Haley did an incredible job. Rooney Mara also was good. But for me, uh, this is my favorite of the horror uh, remake reboots of the 2000-2010s. Um, my favorite franchise, horror franchise. And I really, I just didn't like the, how they reinvented the series. Um, I know many people have some problems with it, but, you know, many people enjoy this too, so perhaps this will forever be forever be split. Maybe people, as time goes on, will look at it more fondly. I don't know. Maybe more time needs to go on than just a decade. But I remember uh, seeing this on the big screen, loving it then. I, I've watched it uh, many times since. And I still love it. I still enjoy it. Um... <laughs> I would love for this whole lawsuit thing to be completely settled out by the end of this year and a new film will be uh, in production by next year. Maybe it could be released next year or in a year or two after. I don't know. Just as great as... As great or good as I think this film is, I really want to see more 
in the franchise. You know, I had a great theater experience, but um, I'd like to have another one. You know, next year is the 40th anniversary of uh, Friday the 13th. Maybe major news will uh, happen. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, we can just hope. And um, with that, that's really all I got. So um, I hope you all have a good day. Hope you'll have a good week, good weekend, and I'll see you next time.